Well, a former pilot and terminally ill patient is flying high today after a community hospice arranged for him to take one final flight. CBS 6's Kimberly Howard live at the Saratoga County Airport tonight. Kimberly, you were there as Bill Lyons took off and landed. He's 93. When's the last time he was actually in the cockpit? What a day it must have been. It was absolutely a fantastic day, Greg. It's been more than 25 years since he's been in the cockpit, but he has about the same number of years in flying under his belt. He was blown away by the technology on the plane, but picked it all up again like a pro. Right on. Bill Lyons is 93, and he'll be the first to tell you. I'm ready for takeoff. You are. You feeling good? I am feeling very good. He's a former pilot and now community hospice patient battling colon cancer. He lives at Gateway House of Peace in Boston Spa. There we go. But today, he's making himself at home in the cockpit of this Cessna 172. I thoroughly loved being in business and worked until I was 81 years old. Lyons owned Manistrip in Saratoga County, a company that manufactured train and plane parts and distributed them throughout the world. Every time he needed to travel more than 400 miles, he'd fly. And I'd still be working if, if my legs didn't give out. But pilots don't really need working legs, just sharp eyes. Giving your angle. For Lyons, flying was always more of a practicality than a hobby. Matter of fact, I find it kind of boring to just go up and fly around. It, the, the interesting part about flying is plotting your course the night before and having a plan. Today's plan is soaring above the Adirondacks and Lake George, Lions behind the controls for the duration of the hour flight. This is the frosting on the cake. That's the only way I can describe it. <laughs> Taking off and landing his favorite parts. They weren't going to let me land it. <laughs> but Lyon says he knew he could. It felt just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Truly amazing. Community Hospice grants wishes for their patients, but they say this is the very first time they've ever taken someone up in a plane. Live at the Saratoga County Airport, Kimberly Howard, CBS 6 News.